There are four straightforward criteria that a compound must meet to be aromatic. The compound must have a pi system that's a ring. All atoms of the ring must have a p orbital. The ring must be flat so that the p orbitals can overlap. The p orbitals must overlap. And the pi system itself must have what's called the Huckel number of electrons. That number is defined by a formula, 4n plus 2. In reality, it's either two electrons, six electrons, or ten electrons in the pi system. Nowhere in this list does it say that all the atoms in the ring must be carbon. And it turns out that's not true. Aromatic rings that have either nitrogen or oxygen in the ring are common. Before I give you some examples, let's take a quick look at the periodic table. Nitrogen is in the fifth column over, so it's going to have five valence electrons. We usually represent that by showing a single dot around each side except one, which has two dots. And oxygen is in the next column over, so it has six electrons, two pairs, and two unpaired electrons. What this generally means is that nitrogen needs to have three things bonded to it, and oxygen needs to have two things bonded to it. A double bond counts as two things bonded to it. Okay, let's look at some rings with heteroatoms in them. They're called heteroatoms because they're different from carbon. And so the compounds we're talking about are called heterocyclic because in the ring they have an atom that's different from carbon. Let's take a quick look at benzene. This six carbon aromatic ring can be shown turned on its side to let us see the p orbitals better. And we see that these p orbitals are all lined up so that there can be overlap in the entire ring above the plane and below the plane. Now we see from the double bonds in the ring that there are six pi electrons in the ring. And when we take a look at the energy levels of the MOs for a six-membered pi system, we see that there are three bonding MOs that need to be filled. Six pi electrons, six electrons, and bonding MOs. Nothing in the anti-bonding MOs, so this molecule is particularly stable. Now I'd like to look at the compound that's an analog to this that has nitrogen in place of a carbon with a hydrogen. First, let me just point out that these carbons all have hydrogens attached. So what I'm talking about right now is making a heterocycle by replacing the CH by N. Take a look. This compound is called pyridine. There are three double bonds shown. There are six pi electrons in this system. And when we looked at the periodic table, we decided that nitrogen needed to have three bonds to it, and there they are. Two with the double bond and one with the single bond. And we know we could write another resonance structure, but the same conclusion would result. Nitrogen has three bonds to it. And remembering what we saw in the periodic table, nitrogen also has another pair of electrons. So wait a minute. Nitrogen has three electrons with it, and the other two pi bonds have two each. Doesn't that make more than six pi electrons? Well, when we look at the orbitals by turning this molecule on its side, you'll see that this pyridine molecule has exactly the right number of aromatic electrons. Shown like the benzene case, we have cyclic p orbitals, all overlapping. The lone pair of electrons is in a different orbital. That nitrogen is sp2 hybridized, and so that's an sp2 orbital that is in the plane of the ring, and it holds that other pair of electrons. So like each carbon atom in the ring, nitrogen is only contributing one electron to that pi system. Each atom is contributing one electron, and we have a six pi electron system, which is our Huckel number, and fits the energy level MOs that we see below. So both benzene and pyridine are aromatic. And it's important to notice that that lone pair of electrons on nitrogen is not part of the aromatic pi system. Let's take a look at some five-membered rings. Here's a compound called pyrrole. You see that we have two double bonds between carbon atoms, and there's a nitrogen sitting in there. Nitrogen has three bonds to it, one to a carbon on either side, and one to a hydrogen. And, like we saw on the periodic table, there's an unshared pair of electrons on that nitrogen. Now, in this case, that unshared pair of electrons on nitrogen will count 
for the pi system of the aromatic ring, and there will be a Huckel number, six electrons, four with the double bonds, and two with the unshared pair. With six electrons in this cyclic pi system, the compound is aromatic, again, because all of the bonding at MOs shown on this energy level diagram are filled with electrons, and the anti-bonding MOs have no electrons. Let's take a little closer look at parole by turning it on its side and looking at the orbitals involved in the aromatic ring. To make it easy to draw, I've put the nitrogen over on one side, and I've shown the hydrogen attached to the nitrogen as above. In this case, we see that the lone pair resides in a p orbital, the p orbital of nitrogen that's involved with the aromatic ring. So I'll put the two electrons here to go along with the two electrons of a double bond here and the two electrons of a double bond here. So this five-membered pi system has six electrons in it, and therefore it has a Huckel number and is aromatic. All of the bonding MOs are filled. But wait a minute, you say. For pyridine, we looked at that molecule and the non-bonding pair was in an orthogonal sp2 orbital. Very true. But here's the key point. That nitrogen will be hybridized to permit the lowest energy configuration of electrons. And when that nitrogen is sp2 hybridized, it can be aromatic. And so that's what will happen. Pyrrole, then, is aromatic because the two unshared electrons on nitrogen count in the aromatic pi system. Let's look at one more example. Pyrrole is important biologically. This next example is even more important. Imidazole plays a really key role as a catalytic base or protonated form, catalytic acid, as enzyme-catalyzed reactions. So for biological chemistry, it's particularly important to understand imidazole. Here it is. Here's a five-membered ring. It has two nitrogens. Both of those nitrogens have unshared electron pairs. One of these pairs is involved in the aromatic system, just like the lone pair on parole. The other pair is not, just like the lone pair on pyridine. We'll turn this on its side, look at its p orbitals, and understand immediately why. Here we have it. An unshared pair on the nitrogen atom of parole, the one that has a hydrogen attached, is involved in the aromatic ring, just as we said for parole. The other nitrogen atom in imidazole has an unshared pair that is in an sp2 orbital. It's orthogonal to the other p orbitals, meaning that it doesn't overlap at all because it's in the plane of the ring. And so that electron pair does not count in the aromatic system. The other electron pair does. So imidazole has both kinds of nitrogen, one with a lone pair that counts in the aromatic system and one with a lone pair that doesn't. Okay, those are nitrogen heterocycles. Let's take a look at an oxygen heterocycle. This is a compound called furan. It has an oxygen stuck in there in place of a CH2. And when you remember what we saw in the periodic table, oxygen needing to have two bonds to it, there are the two bonds. And so oxygen also has two unshared pairs. Let's write them in. Now, if both these pairs counted in the aromatic pi system, we would have two, four, six, eight electrons, which is not a Huckel number. In fact, only one of these pairs counts. We only have six electrons in the aromatic system, and the Huckel number is satisfied. All of the bonding MOs of furan are full, and the anti-bonding MOs have no electrons. Let's take a look at the orbitals of furan. Here they are. I've written each atom, including oxygen, as being sp2 hybridized, each atom having a p orbital that can overlap in the ring. So like nitrogen, we're going to say this oxygen heteroatom in the ring is sp2 hybridized, so it can have a p orbital that can overlap with the other orbitals of the ring. Now we said oxygen has two unshared pairs. Here they are. One of the pairs is in the p orbital, so this aromatic ring has six pi electrons. And the other pair is orthogonal to those orbitals. It doesn't overlap. It's in the plane of the ring. And that unshared pair is not involved in the aromatic system. So when we looked at nitrogen, the unshared pair either was or was not involved in the aromatic system. When we look at oxygen, there are two unshared pairs. 
One is involved in the aromatic system, the other one isn't. And that's the story with furan. Pyridine, pyrrole, imidazole, and furan. They're all aromatic heterocycles. In each case, the aromatic ring has a Huckel number, six. All the bonding MOs are filled. None of the antibonding orbitals have electrons in them.